Hey guys, welcome back to Math in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to be doing the second part of our understanding functions. What we're going to be talking about today is, we saw in the first one to understand what all this means up here. We're going to be talking about though when they do things like f of 4 or f of 10 or f of q, what that means. Okay, so first, x over is just the letter that's in the equation. So if they change that to something like f of 3, what that means is instead of x being our letter or what's in the equation, we should make these x's into 3's. So let's see what I mean by that. The easiest way to do it is when you get to an x, just put parentheses and put your new thing in the box there. So instead of an x, now we're going to have 3's there. So that become a 3. And then again, we get to our next x. Again, we should put parentheses and put the 3 inside there. Then at that point, maybe you'll have to multiply that or whatnot. Uh, but the point is, whatever we put in the parentheses is what goes in place of the x. So the x is really just more of a box. And at the beginning, we have a box in there, an x in there. Later, we're going to have 3s in there. It has something like f of p. That means instead you're going to have p's in there, and so forth. All right, guys, hope that clears that up a little bit. And it joins us for the third part. We'll go into things called composition of functions. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon for Math in 60 Seconds.